Hello, my name is Walter Siewert. Today I'm talking about my scientific research on webbing and slings. Here are the standards. And what you should know is that webbing in the standard is called tape. If you scan the internet, you find, for example, this accident where two climbers died. The reason was that the webbing on the belay broke. Two other examples are, for example, this, while lowering down a person, this sling broke. Here, also, the person survived because a sling broke, the person fell down. One more information up front. When you look at this sling, here is written 22 kilonewton, which is 2.2 tons. And here I have this fat sling. And when I look at it, two tons. What's the reason? Here is no safety factor. That means at 22 kilonewton it will break. Here the breaking load is seven by two tons, 14 tons. Here is a safety factor of seven. This is an industrial sling. Good stuff. A very interesting information for me was when I looked into the manual, then here the lifetime is between six to eight years. If you look to the manual and the standard here, there is no lifetime. And the opposite, lifetime is forbidden. It has to last forever. They are made from the same material. I did the same tests I did with the ropes with 40 years old webbing. And the results Age is no discard criterion. I tested many, many slings. Most of them worked quite well, but a few were like this, below six kilonewton in the ring. That means instead of 15 kilonewton, it would have been less than three kilonewton in a single strand. So this shows that they are not reliable. So the bad news is slings which are exposed to the outdoors like rain, weather and sun can break under body weight when you top rope or abseil from them. So my strong recommendation do not trust slings hanging outdoors. Fixed slings which you find somewhere during climbing. And the other recommendation is do not trust fuzzy slings where you can see that they have been heavily worn. So let's go to the laboratory and make some tests. So, I show you how slings are tested according to the standard. So, we have 300 kilos, not very much. 400, 500, 600, 700, it should hold 1500 kilos. 15 kilonewtons. So we have now one ton, 10 kilonewton, 12 kilonewton, 13. Oops. So the breaking load was below the load it should have. Um, it was 13.5 kilonewton and it should hold 15 kilonewton. By the way, if you look in the, to the manual, here is a wrong standard. It's a standard of slings and not of webbing. Six. So this webbing broke in the smallest diameter, which is normal. 
and it held 1.9 tons. By the way, this is more than 10 years old and actually you need to throw it away. Now we will test this old sling which has been exposed to the outdoors for at least a decade. 900 kilos! About half of the braking load of a new sling. So 5 kilonewton, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you hear that noise, you should stop climbing with it. So this 11 years old, very fuzzy sling would have been okay. 1200 kilo, 12 kilonewton. It broke in the carabiner again. But I have hope that the solution could be slings constructed like kern mantle ropes. They have a core made of high tension fibers, aramid kevlar, and the sheath is made of polyamide. So they are basically built like a rope. And we know from the ropes that they last forever.